Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about multiplying radicals with different index. So last time, meron tayong videos na kung saan we talked about multiplying radicals with same index. And right now, here's our topic, multiplying radical expressions with different index. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So when you say radicals with different index, it talks about the numbers outside the radical expression. Here, we have the cube root of cube root of x raised to 5 times the, the fourth root of x cubed. As you can see, we have here 3 as our index and here 4 as our index. Now, how are we going to solve or how are we going to multiply these radicals with different indices? Ang basic rule kasi natin, we can multiply radical expressions with same index or indices. So ngayon, ang tanong dito paano? So what we need to do is to apply our knowledge about converting radical expression into expression with rational exponents. Iko convert natin siya into exponential form. Convert muna natin ha. Here, if we're going to convert this, Ito siya. Copy this, 1x. And then, yung maging, yung maging rational exponent niya or yung kanyang fractional exponent is this. 5 over 3. Okay? It will become 5 over 3. And then times x raised to here, it will become 3 over 4. Ang nangyari lang, yung index will become the denominator of the exponent the exponent of the radicand will become the numerator. Same with this one. Ngayon, eto na. Remember, we have the loss of exponents na kung saan, if the bases, look, if the bases are the same, we have the same bases, we can multiply them. And what we need to do is to add these exponents. So it will become copier base, which is x, Add exponents 5 over 3 plus 3 over 4. So, ako ang ginagawa ko dito, I'm trying to add the following fraction separately. So, we have 5 over 3 plus 3 over 4. I will get the, the LCD of these denominators 4 and 3. That is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 5. The answer is what? 20. For this, we have plus 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3, right? Times 3, that is equal to 9. So what we have now is 20 plus 9, which is 29 over 12. So this is now the exponent of x. It will become x raised to 29 over 12. So what will happen here, since it, it came from the radicals, ibabalik natin sa pagiging radical. It will become this one, draw a radical sign. The denominator is 12, so this is 12 the root of x raised to 20. 9. In this case, we can simplify this. Sir, paano? Ito. Hindi sa perfect 12th root, pero pwede siyang simplify bilang ganito. The 12th root of x raised to 24 times x raised to 5. Kasi itong x raised to 24 times x raised to 5 is the same as x raised to 29. So what will happen here Ito kasi, yung 24 over 12 natin, pag kinuha natin yun, ito ha, pakita ko sa inyo. Yung 12 the root of x raised to 24 natin is the same as x raised to 24 over 12 or x squared. Ibig sabihin, the 12 the root of x raised to 24 is simply x squared. Okay, ito yan. And then the 12 the root of x raised to 5 it will remain 
unsimplified or hindi na simplified. So, our answer here is this. X squared times the 12 root of X raised to 25. So, medyo matrabaho siya, pero following the rules in multiplying radicals, tapos yung knowledge mo about converting radical expression to exponential form, okay na okay siya. Tapos, samahan mo pa ng knowledge mo about fractions. Now, let's continue with number 2. Dito naman, we have the cube root of 2 times the 4th root of 4. We know that 2 is not a cube, uh, perfect cube. 4 is not a perfect 4th fourth, fourth root. So, hindi siya pwede masimplify. So, same process. Convert muli natin itong mga to. Meron sila dito invisible 1 exponent. Ha? So, pag invert natin to, it will become 2 raised to 1 third times 4 raised to 1 over 4. Ganyan siya. Ngayon, Sir, what about that? Dito, we can multiply this given expressions because their bases are the same. Pero dito pa na po. Don't worry because we can express them with the same base. Remember, this 4 can be expressed with the base of 2. Sir, paano po? Ang 4 natin is the same as 2 raised to the second power. Tama? Eh, meron ko pa isang exponent sa labas. Ito become times 1 fourth. So, saan ang galing tong 2? Raise to 2? Ito. We express 2 raise uh, 4 in exponential form. It became 2 raise to 2. And here, copy natin ito kabila. 2 raise to 1 third. So, since maras na yung base, we can add exponents. Pero before yun, simplify muna natin to. Ang 2 times 1 fourth natin, is the same as 2 over 4 or simplified siya bilang 1 half. Meaning, para makakancel lang natin to, ito, magiging 1, magiging 2, it will become 1 half. So this is 2 raised to 1 over 3 times 2 raised to 1 half. And as you can see, we have the same bases, so we can add exponents. Add natin manually dito yung one third plus one half. And the LCD of 3 and 2 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1, that is 2, plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 1, that is 3. Or in other words, this is... 5 over 6. Meaning, the exponent of 2 is 2 raised to 5 over 6. Ngayon, since exponential siya and it came from the radicals, ibalik natin yung exponential into radical form. It will become 6th root your denominator is 6, 2 raised to 5. So, anong gagawin natin dito? Itong 5 natin, or itong 2 raised to 5 natin can be simplified as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that is equal to 32. Meaning, the answer here is the 6th root of 32. And this is the final answer, guys. So, ganyan lang siya kung paano gawin, or paano mag-simplify, or paano mag-multiply ng radical expressions with different indices. So again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!